Have you ever wondered why you are not always able to give account for your money at the end of the month? Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some reasons why you are not always able to give account. Coming up. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Franklin from the Money Code Academy and I'm glad you are watching. You know, something I've discovered a lot of times with some folks is that they say things like, I earn a lot of money, but I don't know where it all goes to at the end of the month. As a matter of fact, someone approached me recently and was saying, I am facing some problems, I'm facing some challenges. And I said, what are those challenges? And the person said to me, I get money every month. I am earning money every month but the thing is i'm not always able to give account for it i don't even know where my money is going to so i took out time to try to explain a few things and i believe that there are lots of people out there also who may be going through this now if you're watching right now and somehow you have found yourself in such situations hear me I want you to pay close attention to this very video because the things that I want to share here, it will go a very long way to help you. Make no mistakes about it. There is a way out. You just need the right tools. But first of all, you need to know why that is happening. Now, the first reason why you are not always able to give account is because you don't have a budget. Now, this is where budgeting comes into play most people don't understand or they don't know the value of budgeting i have done a mini series on that i'm just going to put the video in the link below so that you can go and watch that series i'm telling you it will help you you will get to understand the benefits of budgeting you will get to understand how to do a budget you will get to understand you know how to successfully have a budget so many things that you stand to gain so i want to encourage you to you know go and watch that, that very video i'm putting the link for you you know in the description below make sure you watch it so the first reason is because no budget in place listen it's not about how much you earn it's about how much you keep it's about how much you are able to administer your finances. A lot of times I've seen people who really want to enjoy financial freedom and then they believe that financial freedom is just all about, you know, having more money. But that's just one part of it. There are six pillars of financial freedom. I'll be sharing some videos in that direction as time goes on. But I just want to encourage you to understand this thing. As long as you don't have a budget in place, you will not always know where your money goes to because budgeting is like a blueprint. It's like a plan or rather you can say it is an administration that is put in place on where your money goes to. So as long as there is no plan in place, as long as there is no budget in place, then your money will develop wings and fly. It's as simple as that. Remember, money does not stay in the hands of a man or a woman. Money will always want to find its way out of our hands. Now, what makes you to put your money into good use is when you have a budget in place. So that's something that you need to fix. If you want to solve this problem, then you need to fix this issue of no budgeting. Okay, now regarding the six pillars of, of financial freedom, I have done a little video on that. Understanding financial freedom is also a mini course. I want to invite you to watch that video. I'm putting the link for you below. I want to invite you to watch that video, listen to that video over and over again because it, it communicates all that you need to know regarding financial freedom i'll put the link below and you can just see the link somewhere up on this video so it's going to go a very long way to help you okay now the second reason why people are not always able to give account you know of their money is because 
there is no financial plan, no financial goal. As long as you don't have financial goal, this will always be the case. Now, what is a financial goal? These are goals uh, or targets that you need to achieve per time. There are goals, there are monthly goals, there are quarterly goals, there are yearly goals, okay? You need to have this in place. Now, something I discovered, you know, with a lot of people is that they have no clue, no idea of any of these things. So, very many people are just living their lives. They are in pursuit of money, they are earning, but they have no clue of these things. If you're going to do well in your finances, if you're going to move forward with your finances, you need to have a financial goal in place. You tell yourself, okay, these are the things that I want to achieve with my money from this time to this time. And then through budgeting, you begin to put that in place. So I want to encourage you, if you're going to avoid this from happening with you where you are not able to give account of your money, listen very carefully. I want to encourage you to have a financial goal. A financial goal can also be a financial plan as well. But have a financial goal. What do you want to achieve on a monthly basis? What do you want to achieve after every three months? See, most of the time, people complain about how much they are earning. But I want to use this medium to encourage you listening to me right now. Get your focus off how much you are earning. Does that mean you shouldn't give attention to it at all? Of course, you can give attention to it, but don't give an undue attention to it because it, that is not where all your attention ought to be in. Do you realize that you could be earning a certain amount of money. It doesn't have to be so much. And you'll be able to do so much with that little that you are earning. Do you realize that? So this is something that I want to encourage you. Have a financial goal. Put that in place. If you don't know how to set a financial goal for yourself, you can contact us. This is why financial coaching is very important. We can help you out. All you need to do is just contact us on the email now showing on the screen. And that's all you require. Okay? So that's something that is very, very important. Another reason why people are not always able to give account is because no financial discipline. As long as there are no financial discipline put in place in your life, hear me, you will definitely not be able to give account of your money. The reason is because when there is no discipline, you will spend recklessly. You will spend recklessly. It's that simple. You will spend recklessly. You will buy things that you are not supposed to buy. You will spend money just to impress people. I have done a video on the habits that makes people broke. I'm going to also link that video here so that you can you see. I'll put a link below. I want to invite you to go watch that video also. I'm telling you, these videos, it's not going to take so much of your time. But if you are able to watch these videos, it will help you a great deal. I want to believe that the, the reason you are watching this video is because you may have been going through such things and if you're going to be able to give account then you should be able to put the time to learn you know so that's something that i want to encourage you about put financial discipline in place you know reset your thinking watch your spending when there is discipline it will help you and now this is one of the reasons budgeting is so important yeah, make no mistakes about it. Budgeting, it's so important at this point now because when there is a budget, it automatically, okay, puts into in your financial life a discipline. So when money comes to you, your money begins to go into all the places that you have laid out, okay? So at the end of the day, you have spent money on the most important things so whatever it is that's going to be left will be little and you cannot afford to be careless or reckless about the little so that's how it goes so if you also want help with budgeting i can sit with you via zoom and 
will look into your finances and see the budgeting that you can put in place. This is why financial coaching is of great importance. And if you want to avail of my coaching services, all you need to do is contact us via the mail showing on your screen and we'll be able to set up something for you. And I'm telling you in no time, every month, within a space of three months, you'll be shocked the kind of things you will be able to achieve okay so that is that for this very video i want to believe that you've gotten value from this video let me know your takeaways if you have questions let me know in the comment box and you can also put in the comment box any other reason that i have not listed out here i would love us to talk about it and quickly if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you are interested in these kind of videos please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell so that the next time i post a new video you'll be the first to receive it and don't forget also to share with your friends and families who needs to hear these words because see when people know the truth it makes them free it's as simple as that there are many people who are living their lives without these parameters and as long as these parameters are out of place or not in place there will always be a challenge so share with your friends and families give the video a thumbs up i hope to speak to you again until then keep cracking the money code and don't forget also to take advantage of my free course the power of financial education i'll just put the link below is an audio course that you can finish within the shortest possible time so take advantage of it and let me know what you think i'm always here to help you see you soon